Hey guys, it's Dennis here. I'm with. What's up, guys? It's your boy Dorian. And we're at Hall, and we're actually in front of Hall H. We just watched the Witcher panel here at San Diego Comic Con 2019. Netflix series come out. You know, everyone's excited about this yeah. this show because it's based. On, it's actually based on the books, but you know, a lot of people it became popular because of the video games. Um, Henry Cavill plays the, the the lead role. Geralt. Uh, what would you think? I thought it was great because for, for me, I personally haven't played the game, so when they said it's going to be derivative more from the books and that if you haven't seen anything, then or if you haven't played any games, you haven't read any books, it's going to be a new experience for you. So I was a little nervous at first, but once we got a few glimpses, that's cool, my guy, but once we got a few glimpses of it, it was I, I was really enjoying it. Like We got to see three or four clips, and all everything I saw, I was like, all right, I'm actually in, I'm interested in this, and now I'm kind of thinking, all right, maybe I should go read the books or go play the video games, but I don't know, we'll see. I might go play the video games. I don't know if I'm gonna read, cause you know, I hate reading. Yeah, I've played some of the video games, but I haven't gotten in fully deep enough. But this was the kind of panel that I was hoping that most of the panels that we've been seeing at Comic-Con were like, where they showed like a, uh, uh, maybe like a really short 30, 45 second uh, teaser trailer in the beginning. They showed three full clips, and then they showed a full trailer at the very end. We've we've been I, I've been here in Hall H for a few day, you know a couple yeah. days and I've watched a lot of panels where they're like they'll show like one trailer which they probably release online anyways. I'm pretty sure those three clips are probably Hall H only. Yeah, I think we, I think we won't nobody will see those until the the show actually comes out. And it was the cinematography from cinematography of it, it was beautiful. I, I was really breathtaking from watching the whole thing. And I'm really excited about it too, because you could see like Henry Cavill was talking about it. He said he was calling up the, the agency like four months prior to them even have started doing anything. So he's really passionate about this. And I was, I was, I was not nervous about seeing him as Geralt, but once I actually saw him fighting because he's doing all his own stunts, I was like, all right, this is this could be my show. Hopefully, hopefully. I, they haven't given us a release date for it yet, but the, the footage we did see, I was impressed with. Yeah, I think it's gonna be sometime this fall, I think, oh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken but you know they, they show that teaser trailer. the three clips you had this one the first clip was uh, uh, Geralt in, in like this hall like of a castle with the queen there and him him and you could tell there was maybe him and a few other people were on the same side fighting a bunch of people that were attacking them um, so you saw the action the production value is there I don't I wouldn't say it's quite like Game of Thrones level production value but it's 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 yeah. it's, it's getting close to that you know you, see, you can tell a lot of money was spent the one clip that I really stood out to me was the Yennefer clip. That was the one where she's on the beach oh, yeah, and she's cool. talking to a dead baby. Yeah. That's kind of set the tone for me. Like, okay, this is a serious show. Yeah, I thought that, I, I, I thought that was an interesting choice to make. That I think that was the second clip we saw. I was like, all right, we're really we're really jumping into it. Like they showed it and everything. I was like, okay, if you're gonna, yeah, like you said, if they're gonna show that right off the back, then I I definitely see them jumping in doing some real serious stuff in this show. Like, so have you? Did do we see any of that like in the in the video games or anything? I mean, I haven't gotten to any part like that yet. But I mean, it was pretty serious. You saw the yeah. dead baby and she was talking to it. So it was kind of a, a character moment for her, you know, really good acting performance uh, by the actress. And then, you know, you just kind of got to, to delve into what her character is going through. She's talking about b the baby being dead, but at the same time saying that it's actually like a good thing for the baby because she doesn't have to live this horrible life, right? And go through all this disappointment and pain and all this stuff. So it's just very telling about her character. And then the third clip that we saw was with Siri, who is like the young princess walking through the woods seeing this kind of glowing light in there, right. being drawn to it, going to it, and then being surrounded by all these tribeswomen, you know, which, you know, all, I'm sure will further play into the plot of the story. Yeah, and also, shout out, because that third clip, there were some people of color in it, and a lot of these fantasy things, you don't see a lot of people of color, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that, actually, because there were a lot of people around her, and I'm, I'm interested to see what that, what that whole scene plays out, because, like I said again, beautiful, I think that was my favorite, favorite shot scene of all three we got to see, just how it was, uh, the cinematography film it, the light hitting her face and all that. She looked kind of angelic. I'm not sure if that's like the role she kind of plays within it, but she looked like a, a, a like a little angel, like trying to, like, innocent little angel, trying to find her way throughout this little jungle. Yeah, I, I just think in general, you can see they took a lot of care and time, the way they talk about it, the way the sh uh, showrunner uh, Lauren Schmidt uh, Heis Heisreich who uh, I think has written episodes of West Wing and okay. some other stuff. 
Um, they just they took this very seriously, and they put the money and the resources and the time involved in it. And it looks like it can be one of those those. A competitor for like Game of Thrones. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. Exactly. You, you have obviously you have the Game of Thrones prequel coming out probably sometime next year. This may take a place as like kind of a placeholder and maybe get some people you know deeply invested into this series yeah no like like i said for me just seeing these clips i would, like you guys talk about it all the time on the podcast but me just seeing these clips has made me want to actually go back and either play the video games or read the book so either one of those like i'm i'm invested now i want to like actually learn about these characters so I, when the show does come out i'll kind of have like a little i'll kind of know what's going on rather than not just just seeing all these clips but they did assure you like if you haven't seen anything like me you'll still be able to jump into it and have a good time throughout the the whole series so we'll see yeah. Yeah, so um, that's kind of like our overall thoughts of the trailer, the clips that we saw. We got a very good vibe from, you know, it was actually one of the smaller panels because there was only four people on stage uh, plus the moderator. And so we kind of got to hear more from each individual person, which was great. You know, Henry Cavill obviously got a great response with, you know, him playing Superman and Clark Kent and everything. So he, he's beloved here at Comic-Con. So stay tuned for more Comic-Con coverage here on the Collider Video Channel, San Diego 2019. See you guys later.